A short while later, another incident occurred. It happened on the day my sister decided not to walk me to school. That morning, when she gave me my packed lunch, she told me she wanted us to walk home separately from now on, too. Evidently, she mistakenly thought I found it suffocating. Who could have put that idea in her head? Was it Wolf, that nosy creep? I wanted to roll my eyes, but instead I remained calm. Grup! Red Riding Hood? That night, I found an unusual visitor standing outside my house. What are you doing here? It was very peculiar to see him here. Oh, nothing. He averted his gaze and hurried off. I found it suspicious, but decided to shrug it off. You don't think we... right? What the... In the living room, I noticed the first aid kit sitting on the table. My heart pounded in my chest. I could tell that someone had used some of our disinfectant in gauze. Sister? I looked up at the ceiling. Her shoes were sitting on the shoe rack, so I knew she was here. Did she take a bath? The faint scent of soap lingered in the room. I peered into the bathroom. No one was inside, but I found my sister's clothes. I picked them up and noticed they were covered in dirt stains. Sirens blared in my mind. I hurried upstairs, just as my sister walked out of her room. Sister! What's... As soon as I laid eyes on her, my voice faltered. Her beautiful face was all bandaged up, and it hurt to look at. What happened to your face? Oh, this? I tripped and fell. She answered in a playful tone, but I could tell it was forced. She always did this when she was trying to hide something. Did someone hurt you? No. She shook her head. I noticed she was carrying a large suitcase. She must have been planning to sneak away somewhere behind my back. You're lying. No, I'm not. Sister! I was sick of her trying to play dumb, so I raised my voice. She flinched. It's nothing, okay? Then she wrapped her arms around me. Sister. There's nothing to worry about. I put my hands on her shoulders and pushed her away. Gretel? Then I grabbed her arm and pushed her down on the bed so she couldn't bolt. Gretel, wait! Ah! Pinning her beneath me, I started my inspection. Her cheek, her arms, her palms, and lastly, her thighs. Gah! Each time I touched her, she squirmed. I knew it. Someone attacked you. Your cheek is completely swollen. And your arms and legs are all scraped up. Plus, I can see finger-shaped bruises on your wrists and... Ah! I yanked up her top. A big red bruise had formed on her skin. These injuries are all proof that you were struck. Did they force themselves on you? No. Did they rape you? No! I wasn't raped! I wasn't. I'm fine. Then what did they do to you? Why did they do this to my sister? I brought it upon myself, that's all. Brought it upon yourself? What's that supposed to mean? You would never make that kind of mistake. You are too smart for that. I'm not as perfect as you think I am, Gretel. Don't give me that. If you're not perfect, then what does that make me? Trash? Why won't you just tell me what happened? You told Red Riding Hood, right? Why is it you could tell him, but not me? It's not that. Then what is it? Is it me? 
Is it my fault this happened to you? Is that why you won't- No! Then tell me! If you care about me as much as you claim to, then tell me what happened and who did this! Don't lie to me! On my way home, a stranger tried to pull me into their car, but Red rescued me. Is that true? Yes. Then why didn't you go straight to the police? Or the hospital? I did. See? I'm all patched up. She smiled and gestured to the gauze. You're lying. No, I... I noticed there's less gauze and disinfectant in the first aid kit. <laughs> Please, don't lie to me. My voice shook. No, not just my voice. My whole body was shaking. Gretel! My sight blurred, and a single drop fell onto her shapely chest. Oh god, even in this moment you're thinking about how shapely her chest is? Gretel, sir! She reached out to touch my cheek. But I couldn't take it anymore. I grabbed her outstretched hand and kissed it. Sister. Sister, sister, sister. My poor, sweet sister. Look what they've done to you. I bet it was agony, wasn't it? Terrifying, wasn't it? I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. I'm so sorry, sister. I held her and sobbed. She put her arms around me and held me back. My dear, angelic sister. She had suffered far worse than I had. She was in physical pain. And yet, she still put me first. How could I possibly make it up to her? After a long moment, I got up. I had a job to do. Fortunately, I had brought the jar of candy with me, just in case. Sister. Here. Eat this. Let's erase all those awful memories. Gretel? I picked out two candies and brought them to her mouth. She shook her head, refusing. So I spoke to her gently, to avoid frightening her. Don't worry. You're just going to sleep for a while, that's all. I didn't have time for a long, involved conversation. So I put the candy in my mouth and kissed her. <laughs> she put up a fight, but I pushed her tongue out of the way and forced the candy in. Even after she swallowed them, the sweet taste lingered. And I dearly wanted to share it with her. Gretel... It was my first kiss. My sister's face turned red, and her chest started to heave, possibly from the lack of oxygen. Her jewel eyes were damp and gleaming. Sister. I administered candy to her again and again. I couldn't stop myself, but she didn't resist. Sister. I'm sorry. I know we shouldn't, but we're siblings, but today, today can be a special exception. You love special exceptions, don't you? <sighs> Over time, her eyelids grew heavy. Evidently, the drug had kicked in. Don't worry. Just give in to the sedative and tell yourself that it was all a bad dream. It was just a nightmare brought upon you by pesky demons. Once you wake up, we'll go back to our happy lives. I planted one final tiny kiss on her lips. Then the jar fell and a candy rainbow scattered all over the floor. Now it truly felt like a nightmare. Gretel. Once she was rendered immobile, I left the house. I was going to make it up to her. 
by putting an end to the people who hurt her. After all, I had a pretty good idea of who it was. It must have been the worthless worms who were hassling her. I vaguely recognized them. They were buddies with the loser I sent to the hospital six months ago. Why had they waited so long to get their revenge? The more I thought about what they had probably done to my sister, the deeper my rage burned. Found you. Late that night, when the streets were deserted, I tailed one of the worms and ambushed him. With a little threatening, he quickly admitted that they had attacked my sister. First, I made him tell me what really happened, as well as the whereabouts of his buddies. Then, one by one, I called them all out to the woods where they liked to hang out. Not one of them ever suspected a thing. They all waltzed right up to me, and it was all too easy to nab them. And after a little interrogating, they all swiftly confessed to their crimes. This process took place over nearly a full day. I wanted to take them all out during the night when no one was around. But hey, no plan ever works out perfectly. That said, their little hideout made for a convenient setting. No one came to investigate the commotion. After I had my fill of tormenting them, I stole their phones and viewed the footage of their crimes against my sister. On screen, I could see my sister trying to crawl away. They grabbed her by the hair and forced her onto the ground, kicked her, hit her in the face. One of them buried his face into her neck and put his hand up her shirt. But then someone else showed up, and the video ended abruptly. Hmm. They looked up at me, terror in their eyes. I had made several improvements to their faces, including swollen cheeks, cut lips, and dried blood. Thank you for going to the trouble of recording it for me. Now I don't have to think too hard about how to punish you. For now, I'll start with repaying my sister's injuries a hundredfold. I dropped the phones to the ground and kicked the nearest conveniently available stomach. One kick to the stomach! Oh, but I said a hundredfold, so that means I've got 99 more to go. Two, three, four! I kicked him again and again and again until eventually I started to wear myself out. When I stopped, my victim started to cough and wheeze. Oh, now you're coughing up blood. You're so dramatic. I stomped on his skull. Help me. Help you? You really think crying and apologizing will save you? You think you can just beg for forgiveness? Do you realize how deeply you hurt my sister? No, you only ever think about yourselves. This is why I despise idiots like you. If you think about it, this is nothing compared to what you did to her. Attempted gang rape. Really? Tell me, who raised you to be human scum? Because they did one hell of a job. Yeah, I bet your parents are all scumbags just like you. Not like you were raised any better. Shut the fuck up. I walked over to the loudmouth, grabbed him by the collar and hoisted him up. I raised my fist as he glared bitterly back at me. See, unlike you maggots, I was raised by the perfect woman. Beautiful, smart, kind, skilled at pretty much everything. Especially cooking. Everything she makes is heavenly. In all my life, I've never met anyone as exceptional as her. And I doubt anyone will ever surpass her. Once I confirmed that he was done talking back, I threw him to the ground. Then I looked over at the rest of them. Incidentally, is this the only video? Yeah, that's it. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure! Do you... 
pinky swear. I pinch the youngest boy's pinky between my thumb and forefinger. These fingers filmed that video. Isn't that right? Stop! Please don't! Evidently, even an idiot like him could see where this was headed. But his desperate plea fell on deaf ears. Ah! Will you shut up? All I did was break a finger. Quit making a scene. Oh. I sighed and flung out another kick to shut him up. So, was that the only video? No others. No! No others! That's the only one! If you're lying, I'll kill you. Oh, I remember! There's photos! Not me, though! It was him! He pointed at one of his buddies. Oh? It's the truth! I'm not lying! My gaze turned to this other worm, who immediately started crying and shaking his head. Was this their sacrificial offering to me? Did they think they could save themselves by throwing their friend under the bus? I snorted. <laughs> I see. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> well then, I better break one of your fingers too. He tried to crawl away, but I grabbed him by the back of the neck and hoisted him up. I grimaced as an unpleasant stench met my nostrils. The crotch of his pants was visibly damp. He had wet himself. Disgusting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please, I'm begging you! Please don't! Truth be told, I didn't really want to even be near them, let alone touch them. But I didn't have a choice. If you knew what you did was wrong, then you shouldn't have done it in the first place. As he flailed on the ground, I stomped my shoe against his face, grabbed his middle finger, and twisted it as hard as I could. Ah! His scream echoed through the trees. I picked up a decent-sized rock lying nearby and wedged it into his mouth. Shh. Quiet time. Smiling, I pressed my index finger to my lips. All this screaming is really starting to grate on my ears. I figured if he didn't shut up, I'd just kick him in the face and make him break his teeth on the rock. Instead, he nodded vigorously as tears streamed down his cheeks. Looks like I've crushed all of them. I stomped on their phones until they shattered, then pulled out their SIM cards and stomped on those for good measure. Now no one would ever uncover my sister's dark secret. In my relief, I glanced over and made eye contact with one of the quieter worms. I'd better delete your memories while I'm at it. If I stomp down really hard on your skulls, do you think they'd break? You're insane! Have you looked in the mirror lately? You tried to rape my sister. You pinned her down against her will and put your hand up her shirt. If your grudge was with me, then you should have taken it up with me. But instead, you went after my sister like a coward. The only good thing about that disgusting video footage was that it showed they were interrupted before that line could be crossed. Judging from their voice, the intruder was probably Red Riding Hood. But then again... I grabbed the leader by the hair and made him kiss the dirt. This was the one I really needed to torture. The video replayed in my head, vividly as if I was standing right there at the time. This one buried his face into my sister's neck and slobbered all over her skin. Then he put his hand up her shirt and fondled her breasts against her will. You really had the hots for my sister, didn't you? That's why you brought her out here and tried to fuck her. I always knew she had a lot of male admirers, but I didn't realize maggots like you were among them. 
That said, I get why you'd be attracted to someone as perfect as her. You want what she has, am I right? I had destroyed the evidence, but the memory still remained. Her pretty face was beaten, and her beautiful body was very nearly tarnished. All thanks to this piece of trash. Rage boiled inside me. So, how was it? How did my sister's tits feel? His lips spread in a crazed grin. Oh, amazing. I see, I see. Die, you piece of shit! My anger morphed into murderous design and I kicked him hard in the gut. Then I leapt on top of him and punched him over and over and over. His blood stained my fists and flew onto my face. <sighs> An indeterminate amount of time passed. My fists were starting to hurt, so I let up. <laughs> now there's a nice look for you. The thug who had touched my sister was now nigh unrecognizable. His face was completely swollen and bleeding all over. His nose was possibly broken, and his eardrums might have ruptured. But this was what he deserved for laying a finger on my sister. That was his just desserts. I could hear the others crying as they watched. How disgraceful. Man up, you little worms. If anyone should be crying, it's me. Now that he was rendered unconscious, I hopped off him. Then I noticed a bottle lying on the ground. I crouched down and picked it up. According to the label, the alcohol content was 96%. Now then, moving on. They must have thought I was going to beat them some more because they all yelped and trembled. Relax. I've got something else in mind for this. At first I thought maybe I could erase their memories by giving them brain concussions, but that simply wouldn't do. As long as they remained alive, my sister and I would relive those memories every time we saw them. So there was only one choice. This was my only option. I opened the bottle and promptly poured its contents all over the worms. The smell of alcohol filled the air, neatly overriding the stench of blood and ammonia. Once the bottle was empty, I tossed it to the ground and they flinched. I told you, I'm done hitting you. I pulled a matchbox out of my pocket and crouched down to their eye level. Then I took a matchstick out of the box and waved it in their faces. Did you know? The higher the alcohol content, the more flammable the liquid. I watched as despair descended over them. Wanna test it out? <gasps> I pretended to strike the match and one of them let out a scream. Please, just stop. Let this go. Never. You demon. You're the demons here. You tried to devour my sister. So now it's time to take the trash to the incinerator. Burn in hell, maggots! But right as I went to light the match... Stop! Sister? It was my sister. She wrapped her arms around me from behind, more tightly than I thought she was capable of. I turned and looked her in the eyes. Gretel, you're bleeding. Evidently, she thought the blood was mine. To reassure her, I smiled and spoke in a cheerful tone. I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Who knows what manner of awful diseases you might catch from their filthy fluids. Don't worry. I'm going to incinerate all the stinking trash right here and now. No! She snatched at my match faster than I was expecting her to be. In my surprise, it fell from my fingers to the wet ground. What are you doing? You made me waste it! Well, whatever. I have more where that came from. 
I pulled another match out of the box. Please, don't do this! Don't do what? Don't get justice for you. You have nothing to worry about. I won't make you the villain, I promise. I'm sorry, everyone. This is all my fault. Why are you apologizing to these worms, sister? They're the ones who hurt you. In her honor, I stomped on a nearby piece of trash. That's enough! Enough already! Just stop! If you go any further, he'll die! Excuse me. That was when I realized that she wasn't worried about me. She was worried about her abusers. She was just so naive. So cloyingly innocent and made me sick. Who gives a shit if he dies? These vermin will never contribute to society. They have no concept of right and wrong. They simply act on their own desires. They're literally worthless. <laughs> Why are you defending them? These creatures attacked you, remember? They very nearly raped you. They hurt your body and scarred your precious soul. That damage could have been permanent, you know. But it wasn't. I'm fine now. Well, I'm not fine! The thought of my sister's abusers living happily ever after makes me want to puke! I'm begging you, please, just stop. I just want to go home with you. And if you cross that line, I... Sister, she was crying. Honestly, I wasn't sure what exactly she was crying over. Me? Herself? Or her attackers? But either way, I knew I had caused it. Grrgh! Grrgh! Out of nowhere, a fist came flying at me. I couldn't dodge it. The hell do you think you're doing? Ryoshi! The taste of metal spread in my mouth. I spat a glob of blood and saliva to the ground, then glared at the intruder. It was the man I hated more than anyone else. My sister's real brother. And what the hell are you doing here? I told you to get some rest, damn you! I felt my sister shrink against my back. Poor thing. She was probably scared out of her wits. If you're going to yell at someone, yell at me. She braved these woods in order to find me. Gretel. When I stood up for my sister, Ryoshi rounded on me. Damn it, Gretel! Do you realize what you were about to do? You were about to commit murder! Yes, I know. What of it? I beg your pardon! He stared at me, wide-eyed. Like he was at a loss for words. Screw it. The lecture will have to wait. Then he turned away and started to untie the vermin. Hey! You kids okay? Stay with me! Help me! I'm gonna call an ambulance for you. Seems like you're all still breathing. What are you doing? You don't have to trouble yourself with these worms. Just let nature sort itself out. Not on your life! Yes, hello. I need an ambulance right away. Right, our current location. They tried to rape your little sister! Unlike me, he was actually related to her. I was always so envious of that. I coveted that connection. That doesn't mean they deserve to die! Maybe you don't care if they die, but these kids have families. Family. So I'm worth even less than these maggots, is that it? Gretel! I mean, that's what it sounds like. After all, I don't have a family. I didn't need to be clued in either. I always knew we weren't related. Unlike you people, I'm not smart or talented. I'm just a worthless piece of trash. That's why I put so much effort into everything I did. Schoolwork, sports, 
I did everything I could to win approval from people as naturally perfect as you. Grun. That loser's comments replayed in my mind. I heard you're not really related. Everybody knows it. You were adopted. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I didn't need other people to tell me what I already knew. Well, at least we get to see Mom and Dad, finally. <laughs> I knew my parents weren't really my parents. I knew my sister wasn't really my sister. Biologically, we were strangers. Honestly, I couldn't really remember when it was that I first figured it out. Not that it mattered. What mattered was that my sister and I weren't really connected. Her blood didn't run in my veins. Which meant I wasn't special. I knew. I could just tell. Unlike you people, I wasn't skilled or gifted. Be it schoolwork or sports, I quietly put my nose to the grindstone until I got to where I am today. I just wanted to catch up to my sister, to stay connected with her. And so I crafted the perfect little brother. So why? Why are you people trying to destroy that? If I encouraged her crush, we could be together romantically. But then our sibling relationship would come to an end. Which would mean admitting that I wasn't part of their perfect family. And I would sooner let someone like Wolf have her than admit that. Damn! Sister. 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 You're the one person I can't afford to lose. Please don't abandon me. Gretel! Cupping my face in her hand, she pulled me close and kissed my cheek. Then, as I stared back in shock, she grabbed my arm and started running. Sister? Hey! Eureka! Gretel! But she ignored her real brother, and instead dragged her fake brother deep into the woods. Sister. Oh, sister. I love you more than anyone in the world. And I would follow you anywhere, 